Let's talk about the singing on the boys last night. A new champ was crowned as Team Blake ruled again, but Blake was so humble in victory. Yeah, right. The winner of The Voice is Sundance Head. I'm really happy that I was able to be the coach that coached the winner and Adam was not. I feel really good. I'm not sure what's going on. You're not sure what's going on. Other than that, everything's great. You didn't even go to the after party last night. I didn't plan on winning, so I didn't pack anything. I don't think. That's five wins for Blake, making him the winningest coach in the show's history. But after 11 seasons, The Voice, which gives the winner a record deal, has yet to produce a chart-topping star. And that's not sitting well with Blake. I want to personally issue a challenge to Universal Records. We need to make the record and put the work behind it that he deserves. It means a lot to me to, just to know that he really, he really believes and cares that much. We reached out to Universal Music Group, which didn't respond for comment in time for our deadline. But Sundance won a lot more than just a shot at stardom. He got to rock out with his idols, Kiss. Bruno Mars, Kelly Clarkson, Ariana Grande, and John Legend also performed on last night's star-studded finale. I don't know who's gonna kiss you when I'm gone. As for next season, Miley's sitting out and Gwen's coming back, and that just sounds like another win for Blake. We were both excited and high-fiving and, and, and partying about it when we got the news, but Gwen is special, you know, and uh, she deserves this. 